Hey guys, welcome to Inspired by Speaking. So glad to have you here. Welcome to the journey. At the very end of our videos, you'll see tips and action plans for you to take. By all means, if you have any questions, send me an email. I'd be more than happy to get back to you. If you were asked to speak in front of a group, would you be ready? Maybe you got this great promotion and your first assignment, your boss, boss calls you in and says, I need you to speak in front of 50 people next week. On one hand, you're excited about the promotion, but on the other hand, you're not really crazy about doing a presentation in front of 50 people in your first week. Then, of course, for some of us, that voice that we are so familiar with enters our head. And what does it say? You're not good enough. Are you ready for this? What about this one? You are way out of your league. Your body decides it might as well participate also. It begins to feel clammy. You start to shake. Your voice does not project. Oh boy, can anything else go wrong? Today, I will share with you five ways on how to overcome or reduce your fears of speaking in front of groups. Reduce your anxiety and feel more confident when you present. Number one, stop thinking about you. That's right, I said that. Stop thinking about you. The reason why you're having these challenges is because you're thinking so much about you. Change your thinking. Create a shift. Think about them, your audience. Think about your audience. When you think about your audience, you're thinking what's in it for them. Having that shift makes you ask questions like, what am I bringing them today? What are their takeaways? What am I really going to try to improve upon? All of those areas will inspire you to share your message the way you want it to be shared. Not only that, the more you start thinking about them, you will become less nervous. Number two, remember your content. You put together great information. You just spent a lot of time putting this together. You put down quotes, stories, ideas, thoughts. You spent time in this. Maybe it took a week, two weeks, or even a month to put together. On the contrary. In fact, what you put together has a tremendous amount of value. Think about your content. In fact, the more proud you are about what it is that you're delivering, your fear and anxiety start to diminish. Number three, know your speech. I've seen people do presentations and speeches and get caught up because they're too busy thinking about someone or something else. As a result of the distraction, they stop. What happens when a speaker stops on stage? Everybody waits for that speaker to get back on the tracks again. Once you know your message, once you practice your speech, and once you know it, what ends up happening? You start to share it with passion. Your confidence starts to exude as a result of you sharing a message that is powerful. That makes a huge difference. In fact, you get so caught up with your body language and your facial gestures and your voice inflection that you don't even remember the fear. I love getting caught up like that. When you're passionate about something, it shows. Know your speech or presentation. Number four, ask good questions. When you take the focus off of you by asking a question, you immediately change the attention to them. This is a great technique. Make a statement, ask a question, then divert to an audience member. In fact, a good way to ask a question is asking, how do you see that working for you? It's an open-end question. The nice part about it is it takes the eyes from you to them. 
asking questions can also reduce nervousness. Number five, visual aids. Visual aids are powerful. You can use clips, memes, photos, PowerPoint presentations. Why do you wanna use visual aids? Did you know that when you use visual aids, the chance of someone learning or hearing what you say goes up 33%. That's huge. In fact, I may not be able to make a point when I'm sharing a message, but my visual aids can do just that. Visual aids will only enhance your message tenfold. In fact, when I take the eyes off of me and put it on a visual aid, again, I'm redu reducing nervousness. That's huge. Today, I've given you five ways on how to overcome nervousness, anxiety, and really present yourself, your message, and your ideas. Are these the only ways? Of course not. There are so many ways, but this is a great start. Focus on them. Know your content. Practice, ask questions, and use visual aids. Implement these tips and you will feel your nervousness go away. Hey guys, I put together this action plan. This action plan covers exactly what we just talked about. You want to implement these ideas as soon as possible. Why? It's going to help you reduce the fear and anxiety that you're experiencing and it's going to change things tenfold for you. A lot of people ask me how to get a hold of you. The best way to get a hold of me is on my Gmail account, inspired by speaking at gmail.com. If you'd like one on one personal coaching, by all means, reach out to me. Ask me in an email. I'd be more than happy to get back to you. If you know anybody who could benefit from listening to what you just heard today, please share this link on YouTube. You have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you real soon. Thank you.